you may remember in the last tutorial we did some basic scripting and you can see the small script that we wrote before you now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing but using the GUI and this is really really nice so I'm just going to delete the script that we wrote and then you'll see a tab here called GUI I'm going to click on it and it'll just have two options to detect the output to emulate and to choose manually now we at the moment are only going to use to detect output to emulate so let's say we have a game and to move you use W A S and D on the keyboard a standard moving moving game and then we're going to maybe use N and M to do other things or whatever the controls are for your game so what we're going to go is we're going to click on detect output to emulate now don't move your mouse because if you move your mouse this will happen so we don't want to move the mouse so detect output to emulate clicking it again don't move your mouse and then click the button on the keyboard that you want to use so say we wanted to assign moving left so here we go a so it's detected the keyboard as you can see the output device here is the keyboard that's what we're going to emulate the button is the A we have a scroll bar of all the other buttons we could use but currently we're going to just leave it as we said then we're going to detect the input now this is where you get your Wii remote now again hold this steady because if you're moving like I'm just doing it at the moment it'll come up with this and you'll notice it's got input device Wii remote num the number of the Wii remote one as, a, as you can see it supports up to eight Wii remotes um, and then it's come up with all this stuff about acceleration, velocity, and all this lot because it detected the motion sensors in the Wii Remote. So we're going to hold the Wii Remote steady, click on Detect Input again, and I'm going to hold the remote on its side. So A, that would move the character left, so I need to press on the left, on the D-pad, which when you hold the Wii Remote on its side, like you would for a standard controller, you'll notice that the up button on the D-pad now goes to the left as you rotate the remote round. Because you've got one and two where your right hand can hold it, and then you've got your D-pad, but which has just been rotated by 90 degrees to the left. But I'm just going to explain this. I'm, going to exp I'm telling you that now to show you something. So when I click on Detect Input, and I click on the right button on the Wii Remote so for my movement left, Oops, sorry, I rotated the Wii Remote. There we go. You'll see it says input device Wii Remote, number one. Device up, that's the up button on the, the Wii Remote. And you might be thinking, well, that's not right. But you've got to remember, because you're now holding the Wii Remote sideways, it is correct. So just something to remember. So I'm now going to click on Apply. Now when I go back into Unentitled, you can see it's set key A to Wii Remote up. Now you might be wondering, why is it done key and not keyboard? Well, let's just make sure it works. And this is one way of, of a testing if something's happened differently. And I'm just going to load up the Wii Remote tester. And if I press left, you can see, yep, yeah, it's adding A. So key, as you've just realized, is a shortcut instead of typing out keyboard. For some reason, I still prefer typing out keyboard, but that's just me. Probably because I've done scripting in other languages as well, where keyboard is quite usually quite used quite a lot. But there you go. That's an abbreviation for keyboard, just typing key. So now we're going to go back into GUI, and I'm going to detect the output to emulate, which in this case is going to be D. Detect the input, and that's it. All done. Apply, and let's just check it. Yep, that's fine. Next line. Detect output to input, input, this time W for up, detect the input, that's right, on the Wii Remote, apply it, and finally, S, detect the input, like so, and so forth. So now I'm going to run this script, we're going to test this script, just delete the text we've got in. So depending on which direction I press on the uh, directional pad, you can see it's typing out different text. So that's that part of the script actually wrote and coded correctly. Now I just want to get the two buttons, the one and two, set up. So let's think. Maybe jump spacebar. So detect output to emulate spacebar. Detect the input one on the Wii remote. There you go. It's come up with one. Apply it. And then we're going to go 
text output to emulate. I'm going to this time say enter. Maybe that's shoot or something. I'm going to press 2 on the Wii Remote and apply it. And then finally, we want to pause the game, which is normally escape or something. So detect output to emulate, press escape on the keyboard, detect input, I'm going to use the plus. Oops, detected a roll instead. There you go, plus, apply it. And there we have, we have a basic script. And we can run this script, test our buttons like so. And you see number two returns a line, goes down a line. One puts a space in. The directional keys does that and plus does, presses the escape key on the keyboard but of course we can't see anything happening because escape does not actually do anything in this window. So that's really a basic script that we have created with no needed knowledge of programming or scripting at all. You don't need any knowledge and that's really about using the GUI. Now it does get slightly more complicated even using the GUI when you start using the role on the we remote because then you have to kind of validate your axes in which you are the rotations so you see you've got your Wii remote in your hand you want to validate what angle you want the maximum angle to be what you want the minimum angle to be and then you want to convert that into a figure which you can possibly put into analog form for your virtual joy pad now I know that might sound really complicated but trust me it's not that complicated because GUI, um, GUI so GlovePie is very well written. I'm really impressed with this software. Really well written, quite clear instruction manual. Although I, I, the reason I'm doing these tutorials is if you're anything like me, the thought of having to sit and study and learn how to do something, reading a book, especially on the computer, is boring. Whereas if you can listen to somebody, although I may not be the most interesting person in the world, you might find it a bit more interesting than reading a book. So that's the purpose of these tutorials. And also sometimes when you're reading, you still don't fully understand what you've read, as what happens to me on many occasions. So these are the, the tutorials are there for your benefit, and hopefully you'll really start to learn quite a lot from these tutorials as we go along.